Hey guys, I'm back. I had to go heat up my little pizza. Mm. Mm. I have no time to pack lunch. Well, I did, but I didn't feel like cutting up no salad. So, Lou sees his pizza. And this energy V8 drink. Pretty good. So, I don't have a third period class or a seventh period class. Real quick, I'm on lunch. I think I got like 10 more minutes. So, during my third period, second period, I do virtual. So, we get on virtual for 30 minutes. Do grades or whatever we have to do. But we have to meet with the virtual kids three times a week. If they have questions or concerns or blah, blah, blah. So, a lot of people typically don't show up. So, I was sitting here waiting. I think a little boy, he tapped in. I was like, you have any questions or concerns? <laughs> no, I just, I just logged in. <laughs> so, I was like, did you take your, you know, so trying to pull some stuff out of him. Are you up to date on your grades? Have you taken your quiz? Blah, blah, blah. Then we're here. So then he left. So I'm sitting here waiting, waiting, waiting. Then I hear bing. And then I see two adults. I'm like, hello? <laughs> they was like, well, we're such and such and such parents. I'm like, oh boy. I'm about to get the business. I'm about to get the business. And honey, I just fell in love with them. It was so wonderful to see this couple so involved with their daughter making sure she had everything they're trying to help her with the folders and this and that african-american couple and it, it just it just brought so much joy to me to see how involved they both were and they was like the dad was all up in the camera yeah so you know i'm trying to help her with this and blah 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 and the flight of vicarious <laughs> He was into it. And then the wife was like, yeah. <laughs> then the wife was into it. You know, we tried. I said, then I said, wait, let me go look at her grades. I was like, oh, she's doing pretty well. They was like, uh-uh, we don't want her to do well. We want her to do great. <laughs> I just loved it. Their energy was great. They were just into it. And I was looking. I was like, they was like, no, she just did such and such. And she did that. Um, and I was like, well, let me look and see how she's doing. So, I, you know, I was trying to grade the stuff out. I had them on the live, on the Zoom. Look, nobody else was on the Zoom. And then I was like, well, she kind of missed a few on theme versus main idea. We probably need to go over that one a little bit. And then I explained to this dad the difference between theme and main idea. He was like, oh, okay, okay. I'll say, so... You know, he said, okay, well, can you talk to her for a little bit? She wants to meet you anyway. <laughs> and so I talked to her, and I explained theme versus main idea to her. And then I said, you got it? So I'm going to let you do that assignment over. So I'm going to unsubmit it, okay? So I want you to redo it. And she's like, okay. And then the dad got back on. Then we started talking about another story. And I was explaining the difference between the story and the poem. They both went together. And I was like, see, the story at one point, the poem had a different perspective. Totally. He was like, oh, yeah, I didn't even think about it like that. He was like, because I had to read <laughs> So, I just, it just warmed my heart to see how involved they were uh, with the little girl. And then it reminded me of what my kids don't have. So, it was like bittersweet, but I was just so excited. And that, that Zoom was actually the highlight of my week. It was the highlight of my week. I mean, I was just so proud just to be a part of that experience with that family. Oh, it was just so wonderful, and I wanted to share that with you. It was great. 
it was so sweet it was so 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 sweet and then a lot of kids i was like you know a lot of kids don't have that same support so a lot of kids are struggling they're not doing the work because they don't have parents who who are as engaged and they may not be able to be as engaged because they have to work so this massive massive responsibility has been put on like 11 and 12 year olds and that's a lot to ask when you got folders of work and work and work from different teachers here and there and trying to keep it all organized what did you do I'm sorry it's a lot it's a lot especially if you never had to manage that volume of work you know coming at you all at one time do you have that work when you go to school yes but it's a little different it's slightly different and I'm still probably going to continue the folders and online where you find your assignments. I don't want any paper. So from that perspective, I have grown to like working that way because now it has, I've learned a different way to do things, cut down on paper and um, speed up grading. There's still reading I still have to do, but you know, I don't have to have all this piece of the paper. Oh, I got some stuff to grade over here. I'll take it home this weekend. So, you know, so it's great from that perspective. And I do like that. So I wouldn't mind going all digital. There's another class, um, she's all digital. So her kids are trained how to use the folders and blah, blah, blah. She trains it from the beginning. And so this is how these kids have been working. So I kind of want to continue that momentum to um, still keep it digital. I wish I had my own class set of computers in here. It would make life a lot easier. Um, you can, you know, do a grant or something like that. But the only thing I don't like about that is when you do those grants and stuff, the stuff stays with the school. It doesn't follow the teacher. So you do all the work to get the grant, but no, it stays at the school. I don't like that. That part I don't like. I don't think that's fair. Because if a teacher did all the work, all the writing, all the begging, all this, all that, to get something, I feel as though that belongs to the teacher. You know? as an educator but you know i feel as though it should still stay in the school district you wherever you go and if you decide to stop teaching then it will be your duty or right to leave it with that school or donate it to another school not to be taken home with you so mm -hmm. but you do any type of things to raise money for a class stays at the school. Mm hmm So with that said, I got four more minutes, y'all. Four more minutes. So the kids are taking a quiz today. Baby. After um kids didn't even read the test. This this story has been out for about two weeks. They didn't even read it. So, I'm like, you're welcome to use your book. You're welcome to use your online textbook. Read the story first. And we give the kids two attempts to take the test. So, it's like, I think the thing that's frustrating as a teacher, you provide every resource and every accommodation. You teach your heart out. You do it, give them visual, you give them uh, audio. You cover all your bases. Every last one, give them visual images, pictures, crayons, everything. I ain't doing that. <laughs> mm -hmm. One boy was like, oh, I didn't read the story, but I took the test. I said, would your parents like to hear that you didn't even try you think that's something your parent he's like no ma'am i said so you don't give up like that because we need to try a little harder i said no i said you need to try again because your parents would not like that you just gave up and didn't do your best so what are we gonna do now i'm gonna go and read this story let the story read it to you how about that you know so he went back and listen to the story and I said now go back and take the test over again because you get two tries. Check your answers. Hey, Miss Anderson. Hi, Miss Anderson. Hey, Miss Anderson. Hey. It's my 
my buddy. She saves me all the time. Oh, hey, Saints. How y'all doing? <laughs> She's the AMS preacher. <laughs> all right, y'all. I'm going to talk to you later.